try to film this as fast as possible. And I really hope the voice synchronization doesn't screw up like it's been doing. First off, sorry I haven't uploaded any videos. I feel like I say that a lot, but um, I was traveling. And then when I came back, I fell down the stairs and bruised a bone. And I couldn't really film either. So I haven't been able to film in like at least two weeks. Um, so I wanted to do this update because I feel like I've been on Metformin for over a month now and um also I finished Clomid and I just did I wanted to wait till I had just done my cycle day 21 blood work even though it's cycle day 22 um so my thoughts on Clomid are I really hope I don't have to take it again the hot flashes are awful and mine weren't just at night they came at like all hours of the day um I feel like I don't do well on medicines, period, because anything that can freaking go wrong will go wrong. I'll even tell a doctor of a side effect, and he'll be like, that's not even a side effect. And then I feel like a hypochondriac, and then I look it up online, and it actually is. It's just a rare side effect. So that's why I try not to take medicines, period. But my formin didn't really tear up my stomach that much. It did in the beginning, and every time I bumped it up, it's kind of like screwed with me. But I will not stop taking metformin because I'm happy to say I've lost 10 pounds now since starting the metformin for about a month. And having said that, I'm going to be like totally honest right now. I have not been working out. I have been feeling like shit adjusting to the medicine. And like then when it mixed with Clomid, oh my God, like all I could just, I just lay there. Um, some things I noticed about the metformin that are kind of weird are like, not that I eat a lot of sugar, but I can't anymore. Like last night, my husband really wanted a blizzard and at first I was like, yeah, a Dairy Queen blizzard sounds good, I guess. And then I had like five M&Ms <laughs> and I was like, oh no. So like just a little bit of sugar, like kicks whatever sugar craving I'm used to having um so and I haven't I've been like following my diet the best I could or could be right now um which isn't great not gonna lie again um but I mean like I haven't worked out at all um before all this I was like on the treadmill for two hours like being a food Nazi and I could not lose weight. So I like, I truly believe that the metformin is helping me. I know some people aren't lucky enough to have the side effect, but I am. Um, so now that I'm done with the Clomid and my knees better and I'm feeling better finally today, it felt really great. Um, I'm going to start working out again. I need to go to the grocery store probably this weekend. So, oh, sorry. <sighs> I am gonna, you know, try to buy healthier stuff. I've been buying healthier stuff. Another weird thing since I got back from California like two, almost three weeks ago, I have not, like, I don't eat meat that much at all, but I haven't eaten meat since I got back. And I was a vegetarian for like, I feel like I'm digressing, but I was a vegetarian for like 13 years. And then I started eating meat again, like right before I got married, I want to say, um, and so I don't want to call myself a vegetarian again because I don't want to say I'm not going to eat meat again, but I kind of like an accidental vegetarian again. I don't know. Meat has just really been grossing me out. I don't know if it's the medicines. Like, who knows? So another metformin. I'm just going to try to go through like the side effects of these medications and like what my experiences were. Um, another metformin side effect has been... Uh, well, one big thing was when I flew to California, I've never in my life had motion sickness. Never, ever. And when I flew to California, I had like the worst motion sickness ever. It was terrible. Um, and I don't know if it's because I, I, I took an anxiety pill because it was really stressful for me to travel because of what happened a year ago. Um, it's the first big trip I've taken without my husband, which is 
a year ago, I took a trip without my husband. Something horrible happened. So I was, I had a lot of anxiety. So I took an anxiety pill that day too. And I don't know if it could have been the like mix of that medication, but I was sitting in the airport with that anxiety pill in my system for a good two hours. So it might've been like anxiety pill, the metformin and shaking me up in an airplane. But I, oh my God, I had the worst motion sickness of my life. And on the flight, at one point, the stewardess came up to me and was like, are you okay? Because you're really white, honey. And I was like, no, I'm not okay. I feel like I'm going to like exorcist vomit all over this plane. So she went and got me like a trash bag. And as soon as I landed, I like ran to the bathroom and I just felt like I needed to throw up and I threw up a little bit. <laughs> and I was like, it's not enough. I feel like I still need to throw up. So I even like stuck my finger down my throat. Nothing else came up. So my brother came and got me. I got in his car. We went back to his place for probably two hours. Then we went to dinner. This whole time, I am still feeling nauseous. It was like a fucking nightmare. I'm sorry I'm cursing so much in this video, but it was a nightmare. And then, so he takes me out to eat with his girlfriend, Michelle, and... Uh, she's vegan and he's, he's pretty much, he's a vegetarian, I would say. Um, I know he still eats egg and stuff occasionally, but, um, so they take me to this awesome, like all organic vegan restaurant that like celebrities go to and stuff. For me, it's expensive, <laughs> like from my restaurant standards price wise. And for California, I'm sure it wasn't that expensive, but the reason I felt awful is because, you know, I ordered something that I thought I could eat and I was like picking at it and I didn't want them to think I didn't like it because I make vegan dishes at home. I cook a lot of the recipes uh, Michelle has given me. I love it, but I just was like scared to eat. So I was drinking a lot of water too and I went to the bathroom before we left and I was like, okay, if you're going to throw up, throw up now. Nothing. So the valet gets her car. We get in. Uh, we get in the car, we're driving down this ramp, and I start feeling it come up. And I'm like, oh, no. So I dug in my purse. I still had that bag. I threw up a little bit in the bag. My brother's like, oh, my God, let me pull over. Like, as soon as he said that, like, all hell broke loose. Like, the vomit sound that was coming from me was like a cartoon. So much that, like, <laughs> Michelle was laughing in the backseat. Not to be mean, but because it sounded so fun. I was laughing as I vomited. It was like somebody was dumping buckets and buckets of water into a trash bag. And my brother was so worried about me. And I mean, like, it was like a gut-riching vomit. I filled a freaking, like, 10-gallon, not 10-gallon, like a kitchen-sized trash bag, like, halfway up. I didn't even know I had that many fluids in me. <laughs> it was bad. And I got some of my sweater and some of my shoe. So we turned my sweatshirt inside out. Uh, so nothing would get in the car and we like rinsed my shoe in a Starbucks bathroom. Anyways, so that was probably the worst side effect I've had from the metformin. Um, the first day I had like diarrhea, like diarrhea, diarrhea, and these horrible noises coming from my stomach. But that was really just the first day. I still occasionally have loose stool, but the first day was the worst. Um, so that was the worst side effect for the metformin. That went on. And I, that's why I say I don't know if it was like a mix of the anxiety medicine or not. That went on most of the time I was in California. So the the day before, the day I fly home, I'm miserable. I've tried Pepto. I've tried like every medication they sell on the um, shelves in like the pharmacy. I've tried like everything, like peppermint tea and like natural stuff. Nothing has helped me. Um, and... The only thing that helped me, and don't freaking judge me, I'll be the first to say, like, with my fibro, I would rather have some medical herbal stuff, we'll just say it that way, smoke some herbal medication, than take, like, a Vicodin. Um, but I haven't been doing that because, and it's not like I do that every day, it's like when I'm in extreme pain. I haven't been doing that because um, we've been trying to conceive. Well, at this point, I hadn't started quote meds, so it's not like I could have been pregnant. Um, I was so miserable. Uh, you know how California is. 
I was able to get an edible, which was a Jolly Rancher with the, um, infused with, yeah, I'm not going to go into that. You can figure it out. Um, and it was very strong, like, but literally probably 30 minutes after I took it, that was it. My stomach stopped hurting. It was like a freaking miracle. Like nothing else had worked and it worked. And I put, I was so paranoid that I like was bringing it through the airport. My brother's like, you need to calm down because you're going to be obvious. Like, cause I brought it back, like some back with me because I was so, so scared that I would be like that on the flight back. I didn't want to be like the lady vomiting everywhere on the plane. Um, but then I was scared to take that, which I didn't have to, thank God. I was scared to take the Jolly Rancher because I've never had anything that strong. And so I was like freaking out on the, <laughs> when I took it the first time, like I was freaking out. Um, it was so strong. So then I was just going to take a little piece of got sick on the plane because I didn't want to be like the crazy lady that the air marshal had to take off and be like on a YouTube video freaking out on the plane. So, and that's a lovely shot of my dog's ass. Um, so anyways, that's, that's the worst that's ever happened on the metformin. Um, the Clomid was terrible because I'd have hot flashes, night sweats. Oh, like I was a bitch. <laughs> Like, I just, I felt awful on it. It made the metformin, like, have, like, a iffy stomach again. I was having migraines. Um, I was getting really OCD, which somebody told me it can affect, with like, anxiety and stuff. For me, I was getting, like, really OCD. I kept, like, checking things three times, which is, like, I've had, since I was a child, I've always been a little OCD and, like, my thing is threes. I have to check like the stove three times when my anxiety is bad. I have to check like everything three times before we leave the house. Um, if get down, Ralph. Sorry. If every, if I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, it made my OCD really bad. Um, can't think of what else. I just didn't love it. I hope I don't have to take it again. I hope I ovulated and I hope that I hope I ovulated and I hope that I get pregnant. I'm I'm not I'm not shocking my dog, but I'm vibrating his collar to get him to calm down because he's he's probably barking at a leaf. Um so I don't remember what I was saying because he started barking. Ralph, no. Anyways. So. Come here. Come here, baby. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So, hopefully I ovulated. I really think I did. Just because um, I've been having a lot of breast pain for the past what would have been three DPO, um, I started getting like a weird nipple pain and then it like spread out to my breast. Kind of a feeling like when I take Provera, which is progesterone, which if I'm making progesterone, that means I hopefully ovulated because I mean, that's what the blood work is for. So, um, I think I did. I really do. Uh, but then a part of me is really negative about it because I know... One of my friends uh, who I met through the Facebook group and is now in my Facebook group uh, and actually lives here and she actually introduced me to the OBGYN place I go to. Um, she, her first round didn't go well. Um, but her second round on a higher dose, uh, she actually ovulated. So that made me really like scared and thinking that I didn't. So we'll see. They said that they would call me tomorrow or Monday. Just depends on when the blood work comes back. Um, another thing, OPKs. I've got, I will never, 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 never buy Wanfo or Wanfo, however the hell you say it. Um, they don't really work for me. The best thing I've, oh my God. The best thing I've ever used has been the Dollar Tree ones. Um, 
I got what looked like a positive, but somebody in the group said it didn't look like a positive to them. Some people thought it did. Um, so the next day I got a Dollar Tree one and I used the wand for one. The Dollar Tree one, the test line was darker than the control line. Blaring positive. The wand fill one looked negative. So I don't know if I got a bad batch because some of my like uh, tests, there would be like no ink on either thing through the middle, on either strip line through the middle. I don't know. I'm just not a fan. I'd rather pay more for the Dollar Tree ones. Um, so according to that... In my cervical mucus, uh, fertility friend says today I'm 5 DPO. So we'll see if I actually ovulate it. Um, but yeah, I don't think I will test till it, like at least 12 DPO, probably 14, just because I'm going to be so nervous it's going to be negative even if I did ovulate. Um, this shirt looks really weird. <laughs> Sorry. It looks like I have a huge wing. I don't know what's up with fashion. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, sorry if I was facey in this video. I'm just trying to think. Hopefully, I don't forget anything. Um, I'll probably make an update video if I did ovulate and let you guys know. Um, and if I didn't, I'll make a video for what's next. Um, yeah. Anyways, bye, y'all. Okay, so I thought of another side effect. As I was making like editing this video or finalizing it um so acne and I don't know if it's from the metformin or if it's from the clomid um I have another video where I cured my acne and I had gorgeous skin uh I know it's coming from the medicine because it I want to say it wasn't bad with metformin but I started the clomid I don't know, I had the metformin and then I was on Provera and then Clomid. So I'm sure that my hormones are like crazy, but I have really bad acne here. Can't really, well, yeah, you can see kind of um, in my cheek, which I haven't had that since like high school. And I even had like, well, it's gone now, but I had like a big pimple on my forehead. And then the worst, the thing that makes me know like it's definitely the medication is it's on my body like I have the biggest like cystic acne like a big one on my back um I had some like on my neck last week and I was like what the shit is going on I can't even believe I forgot to put this in the video I just filmed um I like how my dog's casually getting on the couch when she knows she's not supposed to Amber get down doesn't know she just wants to be in the video say hi um, wow, I'm so ADD today. Uh, so yeah, acne, terrible. Not sure what medications it's from. Um, or like just my hormones are crazy. Uh, I will say I ran out of evening primrose and I have been like meh, maybe twice or three times a week taking the, uh, you want to be on YouTube? Taking the, um, oh my God. Amber, what was mama going to say? <laughs> Maca, Maca, Mecca, whatever, Maca. I've only been taking that, um, like not every day like I should be. Uh, and that was because I, I don't know why I stopped. I just got lazy about it does that make sense or I think more or less it was I felt so shitty I was scared to add anything else into the mix um the only thing I've been doing is Dr. Brommer's which is all I needed with the evening primrose before I started having really it's a party on the couch before I started having um bad acne to where I added the maca mecca whatever mecca I don't know. Anyways, um, I wanted to add that. So horrible acne. Not sure which medicine it's from. Um, I'm like starting to take Mac again every day. Uh, I just bought more Dr. Brommers because I was running low. And I'm going to buy some evening primrose if I didn't ovulate because I can't take that if I ovulated. 
um, I'm going to buy some more of that. So yeah, just real quick, wanted to add that into this video and that's it. Bye.